welcome back to Dom's Tech Chat. Today we're going to be talking about such an important topic, which is how to stay motivated when you study. A lot of times when we are studying for these certifications or picking up new skills, we are working full-time jobs, we still have personal obligations, and it can be very hard to stay on track because when you come home after a long day, a lot of times the last thing that you want to do is to open up a book or go to a video series and start doing more work. So what I wanted to do for you guys was to give some of the tips that I've been using to stay on track with my study plans. Um, make sure that you stay until the end because number five is the most important one that I recommend to everybody. And I just wanted to give you guys a disclaimer that I do have ADHD and so it is extremely hard for me sometimes to switch from entertainment or relaxation mode to study mode so I totally relate to this. So these tips are ADHD approved so let's get started. Okay, so my first tip, as soon as you decide what exam that you want to take and you have all of your study materials, the first thing that you want to do is schedule your exam. Do it right from the beginning. Now, obviously, you want to find a balance. You don't want to make it uh, unrealistically close, but also you don't want to give yourself so much time that it doesn't feel like a deadline. But the whole point is by having a firm set date in your mind, you get two things. One, you kind of have a little bit of pressure because there is a deadline. And two, it helps you to be able to create a study plan um, because you know what time frame you need to study in. And so you just break up your study materials in that time frame so that you can be more organized while you're studying. So schedule your test as soon as possible. Second is I use Pomodoro all the time. So if you aren't familiar, Pomodoro is a method where you use a timer um, and you work for 25 minutes and you take a five minute break. Now, of course, that's the traditional times. You can adjust it. Some people prefer a 50, 10 um, break. Some people prefer like a 30, five or 10. I kind of adjust this depending on how I feel. So if I am trying to kind of trick myself into studying a little bit, I will say, okay, I will do one Pomodoro. And I might make it a really short Pomodoro. I might say, okay, I will do a 15 minute Pomodoro and see how I feel after that. Or I might do a 10 minute Pomodoro and see how I feel after that. And nine times out of 10, I after I do the first one, I am in the mood to study and I will do a longer one. I might do a 25 or a 50. And a lot of times I will get an hour of studying done when I told myself I was only gonna do 10 minutes. So the Pomodoro method has been kind of my secret weapon to get trick myself into studying on a regular basis. Um, with that, another method that I love to use, and this is number three, is study with me videos. Now, if you aren't familiar, if you go on YouTube and if you search up study with me videos, you are going to get a lot of results. Study with me videos are kind of what they sound like. It's people recording themselves studying. A lot of times they have a nice little ambiance going and they put on nice little lo-fi music for you and they will a lot of times build in the Pomodoro timer for you. A lot of times this works really well for me when I need to switch from entertainment mode to study mode. So if you are on a deep YouTube hole and you've been on YouTube for a while and you know you need to be studying, sometimes I will just switch over to a study with me video um, and that kind of satisfies my need to still kind of like be on YouTube, but also it makes me go pick up my books and go study because the other person I'm watching is studying. Honestly, I like study with me videos so much because they build in the music for me, they build in the timer, and it makes it really easy for me to just kind of switch into study mode that I have started filming my own study with me videos. So you will see my playlist pop up above. Um, also, I will drop it down in the description box and I will have my own study with me videos if you want to study with me. Um, I will have different like ones with lo-fi, different white noises like rain and stuff, um, just to kind of help with staying on track with studying. And so that way we can be study buddies. <laughs> this is number four is routine. Routine is so important when you are studying and I am not a strict routine person. I don't like saying I'm going to study at the exact same time every day. What I do do is I try to have like a set time frame. So for me, evenings is my time to study. So if I wake up, it's in the morning, I know I need to study. I won't force myself to study in the morning because that's not my time of day to study. However, the evenings when I start winding down for the day, I've kind of like cued my brain into, okay, like this is where we check in and see if we're gonna study for the day. And most of the time I will start studying in the evenings, especially when I'm on a study routine or on a study program. 
because that is the time that I've kind of set aside in my brain to study. Um, also with routine, it's not just time of day. You can have a set place. I try to invest in my desk space to make it a comfortable place for me to study. So when it's time for me to study, I have kind of a set time period. I have a set place. I try to keep it cleared off so that way it's just really easy for me to come to my desk and start studying when it's that time. And the fifth one, the one that I said was the most important, is accountability. So accountability can um, come in many different forms. So for me, if you follow me on any of my other social platforms, especially on LinkedIn and Twitter where I'm the most active right now, you will see that I will post when I am going for a new certification, when I am on a study plan, I will post a lot of times weekly updates on how I've been doing. Um, just because for me, that serves as a form of accountability. Um, I have typically when I'm posting these things, people that are either doing the same program will also post and comment. So it kind of makes like this little community of people that are working on the same things. And I have people that I am reporting my progress to. However, if you aren't a big social media person, you can a lot of times find little study groups. Um, so if you go online, if like you're looking for the Network Plus or the A Plus or Security Plus, like all of those certifications, a lot of times you will find people working on it on like Reddit um, or Discord and you can join these little groups and um, kind of have those people for accountability too that are working on the same thing. And the other thing I used to do, honestly, is I would just tell like my best friend, like, hey, this is what I'm working on. This is my goal. I want to do this once a week. And I would kind of make her my accountability partner. And if you aren't really comfortable with having anybody in your life as an accountability buddy, you can always start with me. Um, I will put my LinkedIn down at the bottom. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Feel free to DM me about your progress or just post about it. If I see it, I will always interact with those kind of posts because I like to help people stay motivated while they're studying. So that for me has always been the greatest motivator. If I have someone that I'm involving in my study journey, I am much more likely to stick with it. Okay guys, so that is all my tips that I use to stay motivated while I am studying. Um, again, if you want to do the study with me videos, I will link them down in below or if you want to try them out, I definitely would appreciate the support on those. And if you are interested in any more of these study tips or any more career tips for tech, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next video.